Okay, Chalmer and, and Darby, I would ask you what's next for you, but we know it's coming up next week against Switchblade Jay White at Big Business Live here on TBS. But my question for you is, what's it gonna be like for Darby Allen without Sting? This isn't gonna be easy, Tony. You know, it's crazy to think about it. About five years ago, I was homeless about 40 minutes away from here in downtown Atlanta. And then Sunday, I was main eventing one of AEW's best pay-per-views of all time in Sting's retirement match. I said I'd stop at nothing to make sure his career ended with the respect it deserved. And I felt like I did just that. I'm lacerated, I'm beat up, I'm tired. But what's next for Darby Allen? Well, next week at Big Business, I got a match against Jay White. And then on, then on March 27th, I'm flying to go climb Mount Everest. Darby's been training for that for months. And this is me just talking from the heart here. This, this is me talking from the heart. There's no guarantee that I'm gonna come back alive from Mount Everest. I just wanna take this time to say thank you to every fan and thank you for AEW for giving me this dream. And if next week is my last ever match, I'm gonna do what I always do. And that is go out fighting for my life. And as for this tag championship, everybody asks me, oh, why not just keep defending it and find a new partner? Well, let's get serious here, Tony. I cannot, <laughs> I can't replace the icon sting. I get that. So next team that wins this, congratulations. Relinquish the title. That's what just happened right there. Whoa. Oh, buddy. Got Darby Allen relinquishing the AW World Tag Team Championship. But it's a Bullet Club Gold. Bang Bang to the gang music. And there we see Switchblade Team White holding off the gun. Whoa, 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 boys. Somebody hold that for me. Look, I'm sorry I didn't want to come out here and interrupt this cute little sob story about being homeless here in Atlanta. It's just that, Darby, you're such an elusive and, to be honest, kind of weird guy. I don't know if I would get the chance to talk to you face to face again, so I had to come out here in Atlanta. Darby, I just wanted to say to you face to face, congratulations on an amazing night at Revolution. See you, Tony. Darby, you showed the world that you would do anything. You showed the world that you would sacrifice yourself to make sure that Sting would retire a champion. Let's give it up for old Stinger, huh? <laughs> Woo, Stinger. Man, you were ready to risk it all when you, when you jumped off of the top of that ladder. If you ask me, that was kind of stupid. You see, our esteemed EVPs, they moved out of the way. And then you, I like this bit, you went crashing down through that glass all by yourself, huh? And then that left poor old Sting all by himself to fight two on one against the Young Bucks. But luckily, old Sting prevailed. And he had that, that heartwarming send off to his career that he just, oh, so deserved. And Darby, you were there by his side to enjoy that moment or whatever it was. I didn't actually see it. I just hear everybody talking about it because it's all anybody is talking about. But me, between me and you in Atlanta, I don't really care. But, 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 you know what I do care about now, Darby, is that Sting is gone. And Darby, you're all alone. And what is Darby Allen without Sting? I think Darby Allen is a little lost puppy. Nobody there to 
feed them treats. Nobody there to clean up after him. Nobody there to hold his leash. And now you have a match with Switchblade J. White. The catalyst of professional wrestling. And that's what I'm out here for, Darby, to tell you that this doesn't need to happen. We don't need to have this match. Just like you didn't have to jump from the top of that ladder, you don't have to get in the ring with me. And trust me, nobody, nobody out the back, nobody here in Atlanta, nobody watching at home, nobody would think any less of you after what you've been through physically, mentally, and emotionally. Because Darby, remember, if you do decide to get in the ring with me, there's a lot worse things that can happen than just a couple of little scratches. So I have a better idea. I have an idea on how we can preserve our precious Darby right here in Atlanta. Instead of a match, why don't you come back and you can hang with the Bang Bang Scissor Gang. I tell you what, we have a nickname ready for Darby already. You want to hear it, Atlanta? You want to hear it, Darby? Darby Scissor Hands, baby. You look like you already love playing with scissors on the daily. So why don't you throw up those scissors? Come to the back and you can scissor on daddy ass, huh? What do you say? Are you done, Jay White? Are you done? I'm done. Let's get this right. I'm gonna get right to the point. You main evented the Tokyo Dome twice. You won championships all around the world and then you came to AEW and did what? Play with cardboard cutouts? I don't believe the hype. We are gonna have this fight next week. And if you are as good as you think you are, you'd come alone. Stings bat in his hand. Gotta be careful, man. It's a three on one deal here. Darby does not care. Darby's never cared about the odds. I'll see you at Big Business, baby. The match is still on one week from tonight. Big Business. TD Garden Arena, Boston, Massachusetts. Darby Allen. Switchblade Jay White for the first time ever. And after what transpired at Revolution. Sky Blue and the TBS champion Julia Hart demanded a chance to address what went down.